stabilization of operating point. Do you know what is load line? The load line is the locus of pairs of values of collector current IC and collector emitter voltage VCE which can exist for given values of VCC and RC that is IC1 VCE1, IC2 VCE2, IC3 VCE3 etc. And operating point the intersection of the DC load line with the base current is the operating point. That means the values of IB, IC and VCE for zero signal on load line is known as operating point Q. For faithful amplification, it is essential that operating point remains fixed that is stable. Then what make it unstable? The answer is temperature variations and transistor parameters. It needs a process with which the effect of these two factors on operating point is removed which is known as stabilization. That is the process of making operating point independent of temperature changes and variations in transistor parameters is known as stabilization. A good biasing circuit always ensures the stabilization of operating point. For any amplifiers, stabilization of the operating point is necessary due to three reasons. 1. Temperature dependence of IC. 2. Individual variations in transistor parameters. And 3. Thermal runaway. Now, we will discuss these factors in details. 1. Temperature dependence of IC. In a common emitter circuit, the collector current is given by IC equal to beta IB plus beta ICO plus ICO. In some books, ICO is denoted as ICBO. So, it is also written like IC equal to beta IB plus beta ICBO plus ICBO. And if we keep ICO or ICBO constant, then it can also be written as like this. Since ICO that is ICBO is temperature dependent, in this equation, the term beta plus 1 ICO means a large change in collector current when temperature changes. A rise of 10 degree Celsius temperature doubles the ICO. The value of beta is of the 100 to 500 range. Therefore, the change in IC due to temperature variations change the operating point two individual variations. The values of beta and VBE are not exactly the same for any two transistors even of the same type. Further, VBE itself decreases when temperature increases. If circuit need to replace the transistor and if it is replaced by another of the same type, the variation in beta and VBE change the collector current and hence operating point. 3. Thermal runaway. The self-destruction of an unstabilized transistor is known as thermal runaway. The collector current for a common emitter connection is given as IC equal to beta IB plus beta plus 1 ICO. The collector leakage current that is ICO is strongly depend on temperature. The flow of collector current produces heat within the transistor. This rises the temperature of transistor and hence collector leakage current ICO also increases. If ICO increases, the collector current IC increases by beta plus 1 ICO. The increased IC will rise the temperature of transistor which in turn will cause ICO to increase. This effect is cumulative and within few seconds, the collector current may become very large causing the transistor to burn out which is called thermal runaway. It is self-destruction because 
the temperature increases by flow of current ic and that's why ico increased due to cyclic process more and more heat generated at every cycle and it destroyed the transistor if it is not stabilized